What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight! Tonight! Alright, we're coming back to the Foo Fighters. Yes, indeed. Foo Fighters fans, feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. This is a request from Ben Guevara. And it was the winner of the Premier Tier Patreon Request Prioritization Poll. It won with 39% of the vote. It was close. It was very close. But it eked it out. I think it won by like 1%. I think second place was like at 38%. Uh, it was number 996 in the queue, and it shot straight up to number one. So, yeah, your vote does count. Your vote absolutely counts. Democracy at work. What a time to be alive. Anyway, uh, anyway, Ben wanted to see me, and everybody who voted wanted to see me react to this song by the Foo Fighters called Hey Johnny Park. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard this song in passing, and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song, and I suddenly go, Wait a second. I recognize this song. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me. I'm going to be honest with you guys. This was posted by Foo Fighters. Okay. And the video has 712,758 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Hey, Johnny Park. That's all it says. But we got the Foo Fighters logo here, so I can only assume we're in the right place. I guess we'll see. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. Okay, um, good intro, really nice intro, I, I dug the riff, um, coming into the verse with that big dynamic shift down to like where everybody's got laid out, that was very effective, it was very effective, very attention getting. That's an attention getter. Which is good, you, you want to be able to do that, you want to be able to have that shift, especially coming out of the intros or out of solos, uh, where it's instrumental. And when you have the vocals come in, you want to be able to shift the attention. I, I don't mean to say this in an arrogant way, but you want to shift the attention away from the instrumental to the vocal because the vocals are making their entrance. You know what I mean? Not to say that the instrumentals are not important. They are important. But they had their entrance at the beginning. 
Now they need to kind of lay out and let the vocals take over. And then, after the vocals have established themselves, yeah, absolutely, come back in, just like they did. So, very smart arranging, very smart start writing. Uh, song writing. So, really nice job so far. Let's keep going. Let's see where this goes. Okay, uh, short and sweet guitar solo, which I, I do feel was the right call. Uh, absolutely. You don't want to have a elongated guitar solo in a song like this. Um, everything they're doing sounds good. Everything they're doing sounds like it's it belongs. Everything sounds like everything was well thought out. If I'm being honest here, this is just not blowing my skirt up, if you know what I mean. It's just, it's not... I don't feel like Marilyn Monroe right now standing over that vent. I just, I don't feel it. Uh, it's, it, like I said, they're not doing anything wrong. It, it's nothing, it's nothing personal against them. It's just, the song just sounds very middle of the road. Like, it, it doesn't sound bad, but it doesn't sound great either. It's just kind of, it's kind of middle of the road. I, I, I know that's hard to explain. And I really hope the Foo Fighters fans out there don't take what I'm saying personally. I'm not attacking the band. I'm not even attacking the song. And I'm just all I'm saying is the song doesn't sound mind blowing. I, I haven't heard anything mind blowing. I haven't I haven't heard anything great. To be perfectly honest with you, I haven't really even heard anything that I would say is really good other than the arrangement. The arrangement and you know where you're putting like your 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 dynamic shifts and your 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 crescendos and stuff like that. I, I I appreciate that, and that was really well done. But even the song writing, like the chordal structure and the melodic line, I wouldn't even say that's really good. It's it's pretty good, you know. It, it's not bad, but I, I, it's nothing that I would call mind blowing or amazing. So, uh, let's finish this out, and we'll get the review. We'll talk about it.
Oh, well, it was starting to fade, and then they cut. Okay. Uh, yeah. I don't. I honestly am not gonna need a whole lot of time to think about this. I've already, I've already pretty much got the score in my head. It may move around a little bit. Let me give me a couple minutes to really kind of sort everything out. The score may move, you know, one way or the other a tiny bit, but it's not gonna move a whole lot. Um, I'll see you in the review. We'll we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Foo Fighters with. Hey, Johnny Park. This was a request from Ben Guevara, and it was the winner of the premier tier Patreon request prioritization poll. It was very close, though. It barely eked out the win, but it did still win with 39% of the vote, and it went from number 996 in the queue straight to number one. So, yes, your voice, your vote does matter. Seriously, if, like, two other people had voted for the other song, we may have had a tie, or if three other people had voted, we would have had a completely different winner. Uh, so yeah, your vote does count. Your vote does make a difference. Okay, I thought about this, and I, I'll be honest with you, I had this score about halfway through the song. This score was in my head, and I kept trying to move it, and it moved a little this way, and then it came back, and then it moved a little bit the other way, and then it came back, and it just, it always came back to this score. So, this is the score I'm going to give it. I, I really feel this is the score it deserves. And I know a lot of people are going to be questioning it, and that's okay. You know, people are not... Listen, people are free to disagree with me. I got no problem with people disagreeing with me, as long as they do it in a respectful manner. Music is art, and art is always open to interpretation. There's going to be some things that people love and some things that people hate, and it's the exact same thing. Uh, different people have different tastes and remember what I'm saying and when I give my scores I'm not giving these scores to be the absolute undisputed undeniable truth I'm not giving these scores as the gospel I'm giving these scores based completely on my opinion so please take that into account also you know, like I said, people are free to disagree with me. They're absolutely free to disagree with me as long as they do it in a respectful manner. Um, and as long as people understand that this is just my opinion. And my opinion matters, you know, like everybody else's opinion matters, okay? So please keep that in mind. Having said all that, on a scale of 1 to 10, I am going to give this song a 6.6. .6. 6.6. .6. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? This song earned that score of 6.6, .6, completely based on the merit of the song arranging, the use and, and the placement of dynamic shifts, uh, gradual dynamics, accents, uh, attacks, uh, stuff like that. It, 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 it had absolutely nothing to do with the songwriting from a chordal standpoint or from a melodic line standpoint. Uh, no, the use of dynamics was really well done. I, I, I could really appreciate, especially coming out of the intro into the first verse, how everything laid out. And, well, not completely laid out, but everybody came way down to give more emphasis on the vocal entry. I thought that was very smart. And they did it multiple times, so it wasn't just a fluke. Now, they knew what they were doing when it came to that respect, without question. And that's impressive. A lot of bands don't do that. A lot of bands won't take the time to put in those little details that make a huge difference. So, no, I, I absolutely will give them that, without question. The rest of the song, if I'm being 100% honest here, did sound a little generic. It did sound a little... Uh, carbon copy, you know, control C, control V. Uh, I've heard a lot of songs that sound very similar to this from a chordal structure and from a melodic line structure. Uh, even instrumentally, it didn't sound all that unique. It didn't sound special. Uh, it, it didn't sound different. It sounded, like I said, and I hate to use this word, but it's a very fitting word in this case. It did sound very generic. Now, does that mean it's a bad song? No, it does not mean it's a bad song. Look, when you have a formula that has worked 
since, you know, the 50s and 60s, why would you want to mess with it? You know, it, it works, you know? So, you know, it, it is no, there's absolutely nothing wrong with following a song format that has worked for, you know, half a century. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Uh, all I'm saying is it does sound very similar to a lot of other songs. It, it, it would be very hard for me to put this into a group of, like, 20 other songs that sound just like it, and I would be able to pick this one out. I, I, I wouldn't be able to do it. Um... Now the musicianship was solid. Everything was solid on the on the song. Guitar playing was solid. Drumming was solid. Couldn't really hear the bass all that well, unfortunately. But I mean that's very typical. Uh, but I didn't hear anything bad, so it must have been really well done. Um, vocally, it was really well done. I mean, it, it was. I, I wouldn't say it was like really good, but it, it was well done. It, it, it was. It, it, it got the job done. It fit the context of the song. At the end of the day, that's really all you can ask for. Look, here's what the song came down to for me. Did it amaze me? No. Was it mind-blowing? No. Would I call this song great? Absolutely not. You know, would I call this song really good? I I just can't. I Not honestly, no. Look, I can lie, and I can say, Oh, the song was amazing. It deserves a 9.4. <laughs> and everybody would see right through me and they would call me a liar and they would be absolutely right to do so because I would be lying in that case in my opinion this is a it's a pretty good song okay it's not bad it's not horrible listen if it were bad or if it were horrible it'd be down in the in the ones and twos okay this is not getting a one or a two it's getting a 6.6 .6, which by definition is a pretty good score if you don't believe me that's okay take a look down below in the video description you'll clearly see that 6.0 to 6.9 is the grading scale for what pretty good and that's what this is getting it's right in the middle of the pretty goods so it's not a bad song it's just not a great song it's it's a pretty good song and i think if everybody looks at this song objectively whether they're Foo fighters fans or not if they look at the song objectively and they really look at the song for what it really is, I believe wholeheartedly that people will agree with me on that score. And if they don't, that's okay. Maybe they'll say it deserves a 6.4. I, I can get behind that. If Maybe they might say it deserves a 6.8. I could get behind that too. You know. But if anybody comes at me and says this song deserves a 9, <laughs> oh, come on. Who are you kidding? Or an 8? Really? Are you being serious? Or a seven? Uh, I, uh, you might think it deserves a seven. I think it deserves a 6.6. .6. So, 6.6, .6, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys want to join the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for tonight, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later, peace.